Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how you can utilize a showdown for searching for images. So there's a feature for images wherein it is a searchable gallery of screenshots from the crawl device. It can be either a server. It can either be a refrigerator, printer, a router, a login or anything like that. So let's see how you can do this in practical. So when you are onto the showdown.io homepage, if you come over here, you will see the images and you, if you click on any particular image, so let's say if I click on this particular image and you can see this particular server, which has this IP is running on a RDP protocol, which is a 3389. It may be possible that the RDP, which has been connected, may be vulnerable to some type of exploit. The latest exploit was blue keep vulnerability. So if this is vulnerable to that exploit, we can just run that particular exploit on this and this can be exploited. Similarly, if I go back, then you can choose any other images to identify more about those images. And if you click on showdown images at the bottom, then you will just get redirected over here. This is the images.shodan.io domain wherein you can find all the images have that have been crawled from that from all the connected targets. As you can see, this is the Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2003 R2 and more of different screenshots of the crawled devices. So if I randomly choose any particular screenshots, let's say, for example, this one and I will open this. Then you can see the details over here. As you can see, this particular RDP, which is on 3389 protocol, belongs to this IP address, and this IP address belongs to the country China, and the organization is Tencent. And they have their RDP port, which has been open, and this data has been updated on this particular date. Now, if the RDP is not properly authenticated or is running on a default credentials or default passwords, then you can simply log in into the, those particular RDPs. And if you log in into any particular server's RDP, then that vulnerability goes directly to a P1 vulnerability. Although make sure you do not do any changes when you get logged in inside. So if I click on raw data over here, you will be able to see all the details about that particular target in raw format. So as you can see, we have got the ASN range as well of this particular target from which you can identify all the IP addresses that belong to Tencent. You can see the Shodan crawler ID is given over here. If you see the ISP that is Tencent, the data we are seeing is for the RDP data and other a lot more information which gives the fingerprint about the particular scan that has been run by Shodan and is also showing the SSL TLS versions which are being supported over, over there onto that particular server and again the IP address, the ISP, the organization name, the postal code, they are using self-signed certificates or not, so this type of information can be seen. Now you can search for a specific images if you want to see. So it is going to search for the router images and you can see over here we have got data for this particular router screenshots. This is the terminal of maybe a remote login SSH or a telnet has been done into a router. And you can see more screenshots where you can see this is again a terminal login over a router. If I click on it, then you'll be able to see more information about that particular IP address of that particular router. As you can see, this is the IP address which belongs to the country. Netherlands organization is Lease Web. ASN is also given. So I hope you guys understood how you can utilize the image search feature of Shodan to get more information about targets.